Ever wondered how unorganized data can lead to inefficiency and confusion? Picture this, you're searching for a simple piece of information, but it's buried somewhere deep within a tangled web of data, leaving you frustrated and wasting precious time. That's what happens when you don't use information architecture or IA. So what is IA? It's the art and science of organizing and labeling data to support usability and findability. It's the invisible framework that holds your digital world together. Without it, we're left in a chaotic data jungle, struggling to find what we need, when we need it. The lack of clear structure leads to inefficiency, causing you to lose valuable time and resources. But what if there's a solution to this? A way to navigate through this data jungle with ease and efficiency. Now, imagine a world where data is organized, accessible, and easy to understand. That's the power of information architecture. But what exactly is information architecture? You might ask. Well, let's delve into that. At its core, information architecture, or IA, is a discipline that focuses on the organization and structure of information. It's the art and science of organizing and labeling websites, intranets, online communities, and software to support usability and findability. IA is all about creating a structure that makes sense, making the vast world of information navigable and comprehensible. Now, let's break it down a bit further. IA comprises four main components, organization, labeling, navigation, and search systems. Each of these plays a crucial role in how effectively an information system works. The organization is about creating a logical and intuitive structure for information. It's like putting together a jigsaw puzzle where each piece, or in this case, each chunk of information has a specific place and purpose. It's about grouping related information in a way that makes sense to the user. Labeling, on the other hand, is about assigning names or tags to these groups of information. It's like giving each book in a library a title and a category, making it easier for users to find what they're looking for. Navigation is about providing users with a roadmap, guiding them through the information landscape. It's like a GPS for your website or app, helping users get from point A to point B with as little friction as possible. Lastly, we have search systems. These are the tools and mechanisms that help users search for and locate information within the system. It's like the search bar on a website or the index in a book, helping users find specific pieces of information quickly and efficiently. In essence, Iowa is the backbone of any well-structured system, making information easy to find and understand. It's the guiding force that makes the digital world a little less chaotic and a lot more user-friendly. So, whether you're building a website, developing an app, or creating an online community, remember, good information architecture can make all the difference. Ready to dive into the world of information architecture? Here are some simple steps to get you started. First, it's all about understanding your users. This involves identifying their needs, behaviors, and expectations. You should conduct user research, which can be done through online surveys, interviews, or even observing how users interact with similar systems. This step is crucial as it helps you tailor your structure to meet the needs of your users. Next, you'll need to define your information structure. This means organizing your information in a way that makes sense to your users. The information should be grouped logically and should flow naturally. For instance, if you're designing a bookstore website, you might group books by genre, then by author. Once you've defined your structure, it's time to create blueprints, also known as wireframes. These are visual representations of your structure, showing how different pieces of information will be connected. Think of it as a map guiding users through your content. There are plenty of tools available online to help you create these wireframes, so don't worry if you're not an artist. After you've created your wireframes, it's time to build your system. This involves creating the actual pages or screens and linking them together according to your wireframes. This is where you'll need some technical skills, but there are also many user-friendly platforms that can help you create a basic system. Finally, it's time to test your system. This means letting users interact with it and gathering their feedback. The goal is to identify any issues or areas for improvement. Remember, no system is perfect and it's always possible to make changes and improvements. In summary, implementing information architecture involves understanding your users, defining your information structure, creating wireframes, building your system, and testing it. This might seem like a lot, but take it step by step 
and you'll see it's not as daunting as it seems. Remember, the goal is to create a system that is intuitive and user-friendly. Now you may wonder, what benefits does implementing information architecture bring? Well, let's dive into that. First off, let's talk about improved usability. Information architecture makes it easier for users to find what they're looking for. Think of it as a well-organized library. You don't have to rummage through a pile of books. Instead, you can easily navigate through various sections and find the book you need. Similarly, Iowa allows users to effortlessly navigate a system or a website, reducing frustration and enhancing their interaction with the platform. Next, we have enhanced user experience. A well-structured IA can make a user's journey enjoyable, intuitive, and efficient. It's like being in a well-planned city where you can easily find your way around and everything you need is within reach. This ease of navigation translates into a positive user experience, which can lead to increased engagement and customer loyalty. Then there's increased efficiency. By implementing IA, businesses can streamline their processes, reduce redundancy, and improve productivity. It's like having a well-organized workspace where you know exactly where everything is, saving you time and effort in your daily tasks. This efficiency can translate into cost savings and improved bottom lines for businesses. Last but certainly not least, Iowa opens up potential for growth and scalability. A solid IA framework can allow for easier expansion and adaptation as a business grows and evolves. It's like building a house with a solid foundation and a well-planned layout. As your needs change, you can easily add a room or two without disrupting the overall structure. Similarly, a well-planned IA can accommodate growth and changes without causing major disruptions. Clearly, information architecture is more than just organizing data. It's about enhancing the overall user experience. It's about creating a system that is efficient, scalable, and user-friendly. So the next time you're looking at a website or an app, take a moment to appreciate the IA behind it. It's what makes your user journey seamless and enjoyable. Let's recap what we've learned about IA. We started off by giving you a brief introduction to information architecture, or IA, guiding you through its basic concept. It's the art and science of organizing and structifying information in a way that makes it understandable and accessible. It's like creating a roadmap that guides users through a complex system of information. Simple to understand, right? Next, we delved into the steps required to implement IA. It's not as daunting as it sounds, trust me. We broke it down into four essential steps. First, understanding the context or purpose of the information system. Second, determining the content and functionality based on the context. Third, designing the structure and organization of the information. And lastly, creating a system for easy navigation and search within the system. It's like building a house. You wouldn't start construction without a blueprint now, would you? In the same way, you wouldn't start organizing information without a proper IA. Then, we discussed the benefits of IA. It's not just about making things look neat and tidy. It's about improving the overall user experience, making information easy to find and understand. It can increase usability, reduce user errors, and even boost conversions. It's like the secret sauce that spices up your website or app, making it more user-friendly and efficient. But the cherry on top? It can save you time and money in the long run. By investing in a solid IA, you're reducing the chances of having to restructure your system down the line. It's like insurance for your information system. With IA, you can turn a chaotic system into a well-structured, user-friendly environment. So why not give it a try? You've got nothing to lose and a whole lot to gain. So take the plunge and let IA guide the way.